I've taken three tees and I've put them out at 15 feet, 30 feet and 45 feet. I've already paced them 15, 30 and 45. And I'm going to try and hit a putt to each of them and get a sense of what's a 15 footer, what's a 30 footer, what's a 45 footer. Now my visual system will begin to recognize what's 15 feet, what's 30 feet, what's 45 feet. And something I want you to understand here, the beat of the stroke, the rhythm of the stroke is exactly the same whether I'm at 15, 30 or 45. The speed of the stroke changes, the length of the stroke might change, but the beat of the stroke is the same old 1001. So here we go, I'm going to go to the 15 footer. I'm only trying to get the right distance, I'm not actually trying to hit the tee, I'm just trying to get the right distance and it's 1001. That's not too bad. That's probably about a foot past my intended target. It wouldn't be too bad. Now I'm going to sort of look to the side of that one, putt to the side of it. This one's the 30 footer. See if we can get that about right. And that one's come up about a foot short, so not terrible, but not great. And then I'm going to try and go right between them and I'm going to try and go to the 45 footer but hoping you can see that the rhythm of the stroke is the same. The rhythm of the stroke is 1001. The speed changes, the length changes. And so here I am going to the 45 footer. And that one looks not too bad at all, just a little bit downhill. So if you're practicing your lag putting, you want to practice given distances, 15, 30, 45, that's how Sir Bob Charles did it. And then without holding up play, you can quickly pace and see how far is the putt that you've got. It's helped me putt better, it's helped a lot of the golfers I teach putt better, and I think it's going to help you putt better.